The Creator is divided into four chapters, each offering a unique perspective. The first chapter is Niyamata, translates to the Creator, is based on the Sanskrit word Niyamata. The second chapter is The Child, is a childlike story, followed by the friend in the third segment, and the final chapter is The Mother, the most crucial. Each chapter has its own analogy, providing insights into the filmmaker's approach. In 2065, the United States is at war after a decade of AI-powered robots were created to simplify human lives. These robots were initially designed to protect humans, but faced a turning point when a nuclear bomb in Los Angeles killed millions. Humanity abandoned the AI species, and the country's leader vowed to hunt down every AI base to destroy them. They successfully eliminate most AI bases, but New Asia has allied with AI and treated them as equals. The AI species is now viewed as a threat to humanity. Joshua, expecting his first child with his wife, Maya, is raised by AI simulants. When their base is ambushed by the American military, Maya discovers Joshua is working undercover to find the Niamata. The USS Nomad, a floating space station, destroys the base, killing Maya and the other stimulants. Five years later, Joshua works in the Ground Zero cleanup program, tasked with finding AI robots for incineration. General Andrew and Colonel Howell recruit Joshua to destroy a weapon posing a threat to the USS Nomad. Initially uninterested, Joshua is convinced by Colonel Howell's holographic footage of Maya hiding with simulants in a remote area. They head to New Asia to find Niamata, and when a crew member threatens local villagers, Joshua finds a way inside an underground base to find the weapon. Joshua discovers an underground base with a robotic, simulant girl called Alpha who can remotely control technology. Howell's team is killed by AI police force, but Joshua, following his instincts, takes Alfie with him to find his friend Drew, who has been living in the city. Howell instructs Joshua to destroy the weapon, but Joshua chooses to save his friend Drew. Joshua and Alfie, an advanced AI bot, form a friendly bond, learning about each other's lives. Alfie, programmed to save her species, is curious about her feelings. Joshua discovers that people have formed an alliance with the AI, living peacefully without conflicts, and the two become friendly. Joshua visits Drew to investigate Maya's actions and find her current location. As the US Army's plan fails, Joshua asks Drew to examine the tracker and learn more about Niamata. He introduces Alfie, a unique AI with powers that could potentially end the war. Drew reveals that Alfie is not like any other AI simulation and has the potential to grow and put an end to the war. Drew's simulant girlfriend, Kami, takes Alfie to her apartment, but the new Asian police force enters and kills Kami. Joshua, Alfie, and Drew follow a tracker in Maya's ring to Joshua's old house. Joshua is relentless in finding Maya's whereabouts, but the simulant army ambushes the place. Just before Drew dies, Joshua learns that Maya is actually near Marta, leading to their escape. Joshua and Alfie are captured by simulants led by Harun, who reveals that the US government's narrative about AI species is misleading. The nuclear disaster a decade ago was caused by a human coding error, and the government blames AI for hiding their mistake. Harun argues that war won't solve the ongoing conflict between AI and humans, as AI aim to live peacefully with humans. After her father's death, Maya became the second Niamata and spent her time building Alfie, using her embryo's likeness to bring peace to their world. Joshua later discovers Alfie is actually Maya and his creation, bringing peace to their world. Joshua rescues Alfie from a US Army attack, while Colonel Howell aims to end a personal vendetta against simulants for killing her sons. Alfie uses her powers to stop the attack, but is wounded by McBride. Joshua intervenes and kills McBride, and Harun requests Alfie's rescue. Colonel Howell is also seeking an end to her vendetta against simulants. Alfie is taken to a secret monastery called Diandieng, where Joshua discovers that Maya has been in a coma for five years. He learns that Niamata is a godlike figure who created them, and they cannot put her to rest. Alfie, 
connected to her mother, asks Joshua to help her find her way to heaven. Colonel Howell arrives to kill Niamata and take away the weapon. Haran kills Howell and her men before scanning Maya's memories. Joshua and Alfie are captured by US forces, who take them to their LA base. General Andrews orders Joshua to kill Alfie with a stun gun, but Alfie becomes emotional and puts her on standby. Joshua requests Andrews to allow him to be with Alfie, who will be taken to the incineration grounds. When Alfie is taken, Joshua turns her on and instructs her to control the vehicle, allowing them to escape government officials. Joshua and Alfie board a lunar shuttle at LA Interplanetary Air and Spaceport, where Alfie lands on the Nomad Space Station. Andrews orders a missile attack on AI bases, while Joshua instructs Alfie to turn off the ship's power to plant an explosive on a missile aiming to destroy the entire platform. Alfie completes her task and finds a room filled with simulants resembling Maya. She drags one into a hydroponic farm and inserts the hard drive Joshua gave her to remember Maya. Unable to reboot Maya and running out of time, Alfie finds Joshua, who runs out of oxygen. A giant squid-like robot from Andrews tries to take her away, but Joshua rescues her. He realizes he cannot join her and releases Alfie's escape pod as the explosives on the Nomad take effect. As the Nomad blows apart, Joshua sees Maya on the farm with her memories rebooted. Alfie returns to Earth, and the rest of the AI robots cheer as Debris enters the atmosphere. Alfie emerges from her escape pod, expressing happiness at her species' newfound freedom, surrounded by simulants chanting Niamata. The Creator is a 2023 film directed by Edwards that explores religious themes and the relationship between humans and artificial intelligence. The film explores the fear of machines replacing humanity and the quest for freedom from oppression. The AI bots, resembling Buddhist monks, are loyal to a belief system where they view themselves as creations meant to serve humans, akin to slaves. The film also presents a prophecy of a godlike creator, Niamata, destined to liberate them. The film raises questions about the nature of belief, identity search, and the struggle for liberation from societal constraints. The film challenges conventional notions and encourages contemplation on the evolving relationship between humanity and artificial intelligence. The film is a complex allegory about war and immigration, contrasting the AI community's struggles with historical events in Vietnam. The setting in New Asia, a blend of Vietnam, Thailand, India, and Nepal, reflects the geopolitical complexities of the region. Their absence of China in New Asia, likely due to economic concerns, serves as a reminder of how real-world economic and political factors can shape narratives. The film's comparison between AI slaughter and the Vietnam War serves as a haunting allegory, highlighting the cyclical nature of human history. The AI suffering, including a mass grave, mirrors the horrors of war and the devastating consequences of conflict. The film's exploration of immigration is intertwined with the AI community's struggle for freedom and acceptance, mirroring the universal human quest for a safe haven and a sense of belonging. Thanks for watching. Support in cinema by clicking subscribe, like this video, and leave your opinion in the comment section. Bye. Thank you.